Well, hello, this is Jim Reyes from Total Notary Channel, and we will do a realistic wire car today. Um, it's not too far away from uh, ACF cars, uh, as we will have the wheels actually turn while we steer. But uh, as we're not use ACF, we can do this a little bit more simply. Uh, and I want to show you how. It's not that hard. What's realistic with it is that our wheels will actually turn and that is rather cool would you not say if we go into specialized here there is this nice prop that i want to use that one because we need to have actual steering rod things indeed and we will do this uh, well as simple as possible now I have smart snap and actually uh, I have, if you go to my channel front page, I have this little link to my workshop collections where you can find all the mods I use and a little selection of maps. Here you have this one, access tool. Now we click left click right there and left click right there and it will automatically snap like this. Whoops. And we do it for this one too. Where is this now? Here. And like there. Perfect. Now we can unfreeze the whole contraption. And if you shift E, you can do things in exact angles. And that's very useful. Like if I have this and I want them in different directions. And if I shift E, I can turn it in like very angular uh, directions. Well, to make these ropes uh, act as one, we will spawn a... No, <laughs> to make these uh, steering rods here act like one, we need to spawn a rope or have a rope. The settings you want for this rope is rigid, should be checked. And one point there and one point there. And now this will be basically one entity. Now we will go to the actual steering. Then we'll go to our virus tab. I have Hydraulic saved as a favorite. You can search for it or you can scroll down this immense list of things. Now, the Hydraulic should be not winch, winch mode and not fixed. That should be thus unchecked. Speed multiplier can be uh, as fast as possible. It's probably good. Now, we will have one entity here in the corner and the other point hmm, there or something now we have our hydraulic set so it will basically hold this one and all the way there so we can change the length of it and it will change how we steer now we spawn the controller here so it's uh, easy to wire things up what we will do now is that we will go to advanced pod controller which is now called pod controller never mind and we select the model that we want to have and we'll that want to have and we spawn that there somewhere we might as well already spawn a share that we want to city and i guess a car seat will be very convenient right click on that and on that one and we have our car seat here we can might as well um, install our little seat where we want it and that's where we want it select well tool and left click left click this is GB radial you find it also as well in my collection anyways we go now and wire this up well, for that we need a couple of gates and a few values, or one value should be enough. What you will want here is that you want to have gates, search for it, save it as a favorite so you find it, because you will use this a lot in wire mod. Now go to Artemic gates and then we will have a add gate. The add gate we will paste down here. We have it pretty big so it's now it's very important. Then we will want to have a multiply gate. Not one multiply gate, but we actually want two multiply gates. And we select this little model. 
one there, and one there. And now, when we have two multiply gates and one add gate, we will go to constant value. On the constant value, we want one, two, three values right there. The first value will be the exact hydraulic length. That is, for this example, 61.98. 61.98. And the next values will be the amount that we want to increase, respectively decrease the hydraulic length in, thus steering. Uh, I think that 30 will be a good number, thus minus 30 should be on the other side. And we spawn the little value. Then we go to the wire tool, advanced wiring tool, and we wire up this to a little circuit. Now, here is the add gate. A will go to 61.98, like that. Or you can point it the other time, anyways. Doesn't matter. And now, well, this will naturally have the value of 61.98. What we want to add is two modifiers. That is, the two multiply gates, B and C, should go to, an, to them. Now, this multiply gate will increase the length, that's 30. And this will decrease it, that is minus 30. The advanced pod controllers put out values like 1, or they only put out 1. That's it will be 1 times this value. 1 times 30 is 30. 1 times minus 30, that's minus 30. So that's all natural. Now we will think here. The hydraulic is set on this side. That means if we increase it, that's this one, increase it, we will turn to the left, I think. <laughs> that means this B should be connected up to A, and this other one will respectively be connected up to D. Now we can take our fist gun and unfreeze it all. Now we can see if our steering works. If we press A, Oh, I'm sorry, we forgot a crucial step here. Go to your wiring tool and now it's time to link up length to the add gate. And well, it's the same length as before, so you see, shouldn't see any difference. But this will do that we actually change the, le <laughs> the uh, length of them. So it's well the most important thing. So, now we can see we can steer. And oh, our steering is not that, it's a bit too much. It's actually far too much. Then we of course need to change this so that our steering actually works. Then we'll go to constant values and we will change these numbers to maybe 15 is good. And then we could set this one to minus 15. Now we just update this and it will change all the values accordingly. Now, we can see here that the steering is much more better, like it should be. We can also use uh, unrigid ropes um, to stop it from moving to some extremities. We could actually do this, but it's not that important actually, but you can do it if you want. Now, we of course need some way to propel ourselves. And what we can do is we either spawn some thrusters on our wheels or we actually spawn wire wheels. And if we go here on wire, we can scroll down to, or we can search for wheel. And here we have wheels, unput, input value for backwards and reverse. Indeed. Now, we do like this. Input for forward is 1, input for reverse is minus 1. And that's all fine. Then friction 
10 is a bit high, let's set it to like 1, 2, something. Force slam it should be nothing. Uh, torque, 1000. Maybe that is good. Then you just need to select a model that you like. I think this model is quite cool. Spawn a wheel there. And at the back of the car, spawn a wheel there. Then we want to set some wheels accordingly. Like this. And then another here. And click E to change these so they will go all forward. Now, to go backwards, uh, we actually need another gate. So we will go to gates here and go into, well, this is Artemic. That's where most of the gates I use are located. Then we will have the negate, negate gate. And we spawn, well, a little negate gate here. And then we select our wiring tool. To wire this up, we go to, we, well, we actually need another gate for this. I just come to think of. We use another add gate. Here is a little add gate. We put it there. Wiring tool. All goes. Go to the add gate. Go. And go. And go. This is now the negate gate. And of course, we will take that into account. Negate A, we collect to S. And B, we collect to W. Now, this car should be working correctly. But I do think we need to do little one thing here, because our little plate is sticking out from the wheels which have collision. So, no collide these to each other. Now we should be able to steer, but it's a bit slow to realize this, so we actually need them to do like this and it will understand. Now I want to see if the wheels are actually working. And they are not. And I know why, our wheels are too weak. Increase the torque to, I don't know, 4000 is maybe good. And then we just update all the wheels like this, by left clicking. And then we can go inside, and if we press W, we sure have some acceleration. And then we can use these little things to steer. And we have a finely working vehicle. Now, as you see, you might not want to tweak this vehicle. As well as add brakes. And we will do that for sure. If we click S, we will make the wheels go backwards, as you see here. Works completely fine. But the wheels are a bit unsteady, are they not? Now, uh, these are how wheels are in Garris mod, but there is a tool that you can use to fix this. Of course, this tool is not included in regular Garris mod, so you need to download it. Uh, you found it also in my collection. And don't care about any of the options, leave them as they are. Nothing checked. Then left click on all the wheels. Now your wheels will be much mathematical spheres. spheres. That means you need to no collide the back wheels too. But now we will have complete smooth movement and no bobbing up and down. So I say that's rather neat. Now for brakes and stuff we of course need to... And now the wheels can spaz out a bit uh, when they're set up in this way. But that's no big deal, it's just forcing them into place again, like that. Now brakes and what was it yes we should update this constant value go to the constant value and change this to 25 respectively minus 25 update this little constant value 
Then for brakes we will go to weld latch, weld constraint latch. That's something you want. Now click the wheel, click the base plate, spawn a controller. Click the wheel, click the base plate, spawn a controller. Wire, activate, go to pod controller and I want to break using space. Activate, on, space. And that's nice. Now we can press space and the back wheels will lock. And we see we have a bit easier turning as well as we can go backwards. Oops. Maybe we need those limiter anyways. Let me show you how to make a couple of limiters. Force the wheel forward. Okay, may not be as easy but we do like this. Force this one. Okay. Like that. To make the limiters we go to the extremest position we want our wheel. Then we take tools, then we take rope, uncheck rigid, and we select another model just to be clear. Click there and on this one you see that little rope. And we do the other same thing for the other side. Like this. We don't want it more than that. So we make a little rope. And now we can go backwards without having our wheels spazzing out. And that's nice. Now you might want a model. And to do that, spawn props and uh, put them where you want them. That I think every Garris mod builders already know. You also might want to have a turbo, just because it's fun. And I want to have that, so that's why we're, <laughs> we're making it. Uh, go to... Oh, if you want a speedometer, let's make a speedometer. Paste it down there, and we'll have a screen. Screen. Uh, only one value, um, floor screen value, and bigger font for single screen. Select them all. And we only have the kilometers per hour setting here. And that's upside down. We spawn my favorite model. Like that. Whoops. Put it where you want it and weld it into position. Now it's actually better to use parenting tool, but to keep this basic I won't cover this this time. And I will spawn a couple of example props, just because, I don't know. And I will do this super uh, lazy. I will have two props and then I will go to no collide, right click on them. That means these props will not collide with anything at all, ever. And here is my cool looking front and this is, whoops, it became a lowrider. Cool. And this prop, we put them here and we shift E to make it position just as we want like that then we take our welding tool and weld them to the base plate wow what a vehicle now what was it more yes of course a turbo then we go to the gold old thrusters and we of course have a fun sound dropship that's a fun sound and we have a strong thruster. And this is our turbo. Place it kind of centered in the vehicle or we will totally lose control over it. And there we have it. Well that too. The thruster we will link up link up to the optional uh, to the turbo button which is of course shift. That's a good button. Okay. I think our vehicle will be kind of functional. 
So, of course, um, the Y reels are a bit slow, but they're cool. And we forgot to link up the speedometer. And that's very easy. Take the screen, A, to the speedometers, kilometers per hour, or miles per hour, if you prefer that. But God knows why you would prefer miles per hour. Because kilometers per hour is much better. Well, we can see we easily, easily reach like 18 kilometers per hour. We'll probably go faster <laughs> if we let it accelerate a bit. But we will just drive out to the highway here. And this is Carcon VS if you wonder what map it is. And now we can press shift. And oh lord, we had some. We, ha we have too much speed. <laughs> If we just press it fast like this, we have a little nitro. Okay, this is a nitro. And oh lord. 168. Okay, we can break. Wow. As you see, this vehicle works kind of neatly. We mainly use the wire wheels and we have a little, a little turbo. Like that. And to have these high speed curves, we need to use the braking. And that doesn't even help us. Well, that's anyways how to make a realistic wired car. So I hope you enjoy this little tutorial and I catch you next time. Jimodism Total Nerdry Channel officially out. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.